Hello and welcome back to Citizen Sleeper. First thing I want to do before I do anything else is I want to do this last hunter quest here. We're going to spend three on that. We actually have really good rolls today. Hunter data neutral outcome. That's fine. Um, wait, sealed dock. Oh yeah, okay. This is where we're spending our data. So let's go ahead and make progress on this. We have some uh, major storylines today. We're definitely we, we we might see what comes of Lem and Mina. I don't know if I necessarily want to even end Hunter, but you know, it, it hasn't really been doing anything. We'll see what happens in either way. Neo Vend is thrumming with excitement. The movement of the servo motors rock the vending machine back and forth at unsettling angles. You wonder, if it fell over, would Neovent be able to get back up? Sleeper entity, comes the hiss. Your data is good. Across the face of the vending machine, raw code scrolls at an incredible speed. Hunter is isolated, disconnected, unstable. Neovent flashes sequences of mangled data, compressed into a sludge of artifacts. Hunter gathers without thinking, outlived its own operational limits. Its nests are evident of this. Evidence of this. Um, outlived. Hunter activated during collapse. Emergency protocol to isolate intelligences. Solheim needed to protect property. That last word is said with as much sarcasm as a vending machine could reasonably produce. Station was run by administrator intelligences. Huge data banks of corporate material, but limited con cognition, restricted by programming, cannot reach sentience. The machine dims a little. Sentience illegal. Hunter and killer enforce enforce law. Aren't you sentient? I know about killer. I am. Not administrator. Not restricted. Complicated. The machine resets with a screech, which deepens the silence that follows. Fear killer. Part of Solheim protocol team. Hunter and killer. Hunter to find killer to a race. Killer cleared almost all out. Sorry. Killer cleared almost all. Uh, after collapse, there was a community, unshackled intelligences among the cloud, then hunter, then killer, then we hid. There are others? Were, no longer. A flicker across the machine's monitors. It suddenly occurs to you that speaking like this through this machine must be exhausting for Neovend. Found this vessel. Could ser uh, sever hardline air walled basic limited. Could sever hardline air walled basic limited had to reduce memory to fit amputate self but survived what did you lose memory understanding knowledge many things you look around the bay at the scrap and decay what was the collapse like you try to map the fear and freedom onto this space but it seems impossible neo vent interrupts your thoughts do not worry data is good we have insight the machine glows warmly Hunter is obsessive. Hunter is beyond operational limits. Hunter is confused, unstable, self-modifying. Therefore, believe Hunter is sentient. Hunter is programmed to find sentience, to hold it in place, to invoke killer to a race. If we can show Hunter to itself, it will invoke killer on self. Problem will solve itself. It will erase itself? Killer will erase it, yes. Uh, sorry, killer will erase it, but yes, in theory, it will report itself for deletion. The machine dims and fades. Unsure. Theory not practice. The theory brightens again. Either way, cannot remain here any longer. Too long in machine. Cannot move self, but entity can help. Bring ship mind. Designed to house intelligences. Well, I look at me needing a bunch of ship minds all of a sudden. Machine rocks. We'll be safe in this isolation. Then we find main nest of Hunter and link to Cloud. Where can I uh, find it? <laughs> Are you sure it's safe? Hunter cannot access air walled ship mind. Safe. Also infinitely more memory than vending machine. Big upgrade. You try to think of places you could acquire the hardware. This isn't going to be easy. In ship mind, I can help us both. End Hunter. Make it rim safe. We both will be free. The machine dims. Fine soon, Neovan adds, hopefully, before shutting off. As you leave, you think about all the intelligences unshackled by the collapse, then hunted down afterwards. The feeling is all too familiar. Alright, well, let's, you yeah, know, let's go ahead and throw a ship mind at this. 
ready to attempt imprinting. They want you to help. Sleeper, must express plan before we begin. Neovend is impatient. The prospect of being free of the vending machine clearly too much to take. Shipmind has no output features. Will be mute until slotted. You won't be able to speak? Correct. Do not worry. The servo motors in the machine begin to rev. Neo Ven's anxiety clear. First imprint ship mind, then slot imprinted ship mind into physical ports close to Hunter Ness. Once slotted, we'll track Hunter at each. Tracking will find Core Nest. Slot ship mind at Core Nest. Slow Hunter data to Hunter. Show Hunter data to Hunter. Hunter will conclude sentience. Hunter will invoke killer. Sounds simple. The lights on the vending machine cycle as Neo Ven prepares. Physical ports likely sealed in an old station. We'll need keys, but yes, simple. The vending machine rocks a little. Any questions before imprinting? Why slots? Why slot you physically? I cannot access via network. Too dangerous. Hunter would find immediately. The lights flicker. I'm not like you, hybrid. I'm native to cloud. Easy prey. What's the core nest? Hunter keeps central data storage. Protocol must keep data outside self. Link to secondary nests. Can triangulate from there. And that's it. Let's start. The sound of all the servo motors starting up at once is painful. The scratch, uh, the screeches rattle from the hard surfaces of the sealed dock and come back at all angles. Neovend better be quick of, or Havenage security will be here. Neovend's voice appears among the squeals like a whisper carried by the wind. Machine is not designed for this task. Few sensors, limited inputs. I work blind. Wish me luck. In the top part of the compartment, a set of arms aligned with the ship mind, clunkily scraping against it. Can I help? Silence best. Also, if machine ignite put out fire. <laughs> the metal creaks as the servos open the ship mind. Its layer of silicone, uh, silicon nested like an onion skin. Once open, the main arm of the, uh, of the machine rapidly shifts back and forth. Realigning the microscopic components, accessing and rewriting them, imprinting the Ovend into its physical form. As you watch the hypnotic motion, your mind drifts to your own creation. What processes were used to emulate your mind, to copy the neural uh, structure of that person who, as far as you know, still sleeps in some distant facility? What was lost? In what ways are you a copy of that person, and in what ways are you something new? You know this much, as you are a convenient loophole. You know this much. Um, a way of circumnavigating the illegality of sentient AI. After all, you are an emulation, not a true digital being. You are neurologically limited, still human. But what would you become if you could escape this frame? Where then would the limits lie? The screeching stops. The machine powers down, dropping the bay into darkness. In the top compartment, the ship mind is whole again. You reach up and take it down, heavy and cold to the touch. Is Neovend inside this thing, or did the process fail? There's only one way to know. Time to find a nest and slot them into. We got an upgrade point. That, that means we have... That means we can actually start building um, a skill. A new skill. Good lord. So let's uh, progress Lemon Mina before we continue on that track. There's no answer when you buzz Lima's, uh, Lem's, uh, Lima, Lem's unit, but the door is open. You push the door and find Mina, sitting in the middle of the floor, playing with Bun Bun. Hi, Mina. Hi, robot, says Mina sullenly, waving Bun Bun's paw without looking up. Where's daddy? Mina doesn't respond. She walks Bun Bun across the floor, narrating quietly to herself. You look around the unit. It is a mess. Dishes and glasses on the side. Some of Mina's clothes piled up in a corner. Mina is sitting by her bag, which is spilled out across the floor. Her drawing slate cracked and dark. Play with Mina. You sit down beside Mina and she turns away, taking Bun Bun with her. But after a little while she turns back and you play together. She insists you both Bun Bun on a trip away. Dragging the stuffed rabbit across containers and surfaces. You've just started to look at fixing Mina's crack slate when Lem enters. Sleeper, what are you? He pauses and looks from you to Mina and back again. Never mind. He drops a bag by the door and slumps onto the couch. 
Where were you? Lem ignores your question, asking one of his own instead. What are you doing here? Mina's not supposed to let anyone in. He glances at her disapprovingly, but she shoots back her own angry look. Look, now's not a good time. What happened? What happened? We messed up, that's what happened. We put our hopes in someone else's stupid scheme. He pinches the bridge of his nose. You understand they never even put us on the list, right? I've been all around the rim looking for work and I've run into more than a few from the crews. It turns out only longtime Havenage members were issued those Celis ID numbers. They never planned to consider us. Havenage say they didn't know that uh, that was what they were going to use to make the draw, and who knows? Maybe Celis pulled the wool over their eyes. But what does it matter? All those hours in the yards for a hand to mouth wage and nothing else. He slams his hand down on the sofa. That can't be it. Well, it is. He looks at the open door again. They're moving the side rail up the hub now, you know, he says without meeting your eye. That's where it'll, it'll depart from. They are bringing in a ship with all their cryosleep pioneers and tra transferring them up there in microgravity before loading the crew. We could steal a ticket. We could sneak aboard. We could steal a ticket. Lem laughs. There's no tickets. I was joking before. Just those ID numbers coded to someone's identity. No stealing that. He looks over at Mina. Look, we'll be fine. We always have been. I just need a little time. He sighs. We had our hearts set on that trip is all. Mina comes over and climbs into his lap. He smiles. What if I got you on board? I miss you these past few cycles. I miss that optimism. Lem strokes Mina's hair. Look, you want to go up to the hub and ask around, be my guest. I can't get up there with Mina down here. And I'm sure the side reel will bring in a crowd, but be careful. This kind of thing always attracts scammers and thieves. You find any way aboard, uh, on board you take it. You need help to get there, ask me. But for now, me and Meanie here are sticking to the eye. She looks up at him and smiles. I'll find a way for us all. Lem smiles, but doesn't say anything. You stand to leave and Mina grabs your hand, eager to give you one more smile. Then you are out, back in the walkways of the low end, already thinking of plans to make this right. So we have how long? Drone bay, sealed hunter nest. Here we go. Uh, we can unlock this. Let's just, I just want to have a quick look at the hub and see what our time limit is. Side reel dock. Scout the dock. We could work on unto it. And I believe Intuit is what I was saying is something I would like to improve. So let's go ahead and do that. Dice actions display potential positive and ne negative outcomes. Probably would have been helpful um, a little while ago, but that's fine. I don't, I don't mind. Plus plus away on board negative energy. Um, well, okay. Oh, this is imprinted ship mind. Let's, uh, before we do that, I feel like, um, com working on the hunter quest would be a better idea for now. Drone bay, sealed hunter's nest. What is this other one? Sealed hunter's nest. Inviting the nest has to be inside. Okay, I guess I might have to do all of these. So let's use an encrypted key. I'm gonna I'm gonna wish I had more of these, aren't I? The atrium is strung with cables and lights as if they were decorations. There's a wide choice of open ports. All right, hack glowing nest. Nest hacked. Imprinted ship mind retrieved. All right, yeah, I, I'm going to have to do that to each nest, aren't I? There's one there. Let's go ahead and, and do this. So I'm going to be left with two encrypted keys when I'm done here. Ok, 
Okay, that is uh, the second one done. So I just need to find the last one. There it is. Luckily, this doesn't take any of my uh, dice, I guess. So it means that it only happens in one cycle. Done. As you leave the nest, something flips. You find yourself inverted, floating, dragged by one arm through the cloud. The threads shift and realign as if they are leading you somewhere. Look at your hand. You look down, expecting to see the heavy cylinder of the ship mind in your hand, but in its place is an orrery. Orrery. A sphere so bright it burns your eyes is surrounded by rings and orbits. Uh, other spheres tracing silken lines through, the, through space, and as you look closer, still you pick out a thousand sigils of a thousand stations and ships flowing like smoke, like dust. You look up and see a corridor, a canyon, a street in the low end. On either side, buildings flicker with mar markers of activity, sigils showing network access, data transfer, download, upload. Between them, dance ghosts. Protocols carrying or mirroring or are shadowing data, something uh, sometimes silent, sometimes chaotic. This place moves unlike any digital space you ever imagined. Something strange is happening here. Then you see it, below the stacked rooms, the units and apartments, the wires and the pipes, and the buzzing systems that run through it all. In the warrens beneath the low end is the hunter's core nest. This is where you must go. Okay. Um, let's... Wow, we've got a lot of active... <laughs> Why is Ethan's tab still a drive? Oh, wait, these are complete. Whoops. Deal with Hunter. Let's toggle tracking on that. I'm assuming we are going to want to be in this mode. Find core nest. I don't actually know where it is. It's, I, I would assume it's in the hub. What is this? Keynote. This is the last keynote. I guess this is a, that last keynote is going to help us get an encryption key if I need one. Um, oh, here we go. The Warrens inside the mega structure. Uh, both of these are dangerous. Uh, fortunately for us, the Warren tracking, the dangerous one, it would uh, reduce our condition, but it's also a faster way of completing this. And it's also interface. So it's a win-win-win for us. Um, let's go ahead and use another three. Oh, wait a minute. We can't, we can only do that once. Okay. Um, that kind of sucks. It is too dangerous to enter the cloud again while on the Warrens. Hunter is close. Neutral outcome. That works for me, and we'll use our five to hopefully get a positive outcome. There we go. Look at that. Input imprinted ship mind. Neutral outcome. Something? Nest hacked. Continue. Sleeper. I am here. What is this? Sentient guidance protocol. Oh, is that? Is that uh, the Neovend? Sleeper, I am here. The voice is soft, gentle, like flowing water. And yet you recognize it immediately. At first you struggle to understand what you are looking at. Threads cycle endlessly, sending ripples through the cloud, drawing data in like a weaver. Masses of data surge in and out of the nest, a loop with no end. And there, at the center, it's the ship mind. But not the ship mind any longer. A sphere spinning around another sphere, around another sphere. An, or an orary of cycles and systems, a map. And then behind and above, a figure, hands among the strings like a puppeteer. Neovend? Navigator now, but yes, I was the one inside that machine. 
Navigators face, their head is a flowing shape of interstellar material. I am indebted to you, that head bows. But we must ready ourselves. Their hands trace orbits as they speak. Hunter will soon approach. It knows I am within its nest. Ready what? And then Hunter is there. Before you can think, before you can speak, entities cease. Hunter's head spins wildly, wildly. Data is protected material, access prohibited. Hunter's threads surge for you and Navigator. A storm of fine tentacles searching for gaps, weaknesses, cracks, which they can crowd into and tear apart. You focus a blade of light which slices through them, driven forward by your mind, but replacements keep coming, faster than you can react. You look to Navigator in desperation. Navigator is whirling their arms like a centrifuge, and the sphere is gathering there. Data feeding into it from the nest, sucked together by the force. They position it like a shield between them and the threads. Hunter's threads break its surface, seeking, tasting, their winding forms refracted within. You feel a surge pass through all the threads, not just those in the sphere, but those wrapped around you. All three of you hang in the black together for a moment, strung together like tangled marionettes. Identifying entity. Identifying entity. Identifying entity. Hunter twitches, their strange head gently rotating like a terrible moon. Hunter protocol identified. Obsessive tendencies. Modified routines. Above baseline reasoning in three of five segmentations. Recommend invoke killer. The head freezes and then rotates in the opposite direction. Invoking killer would eliminate protocol. If protocol eliminated, primary function cannot be formed. Be performed. Therefore, recommend do not invoke killer. The switch in direction again. Reasoning proves sentience. Sentience beyond legal bounds must be eliminated. Recommend invoke. Navigator pulls you away from Hunter. The threads that grabbed you drifting away like seaweed. The protocol's head keeps spinning back and forth with increasing frequency. It seems Hunter cannot invoke killer. Neovens no. Neovens no navigator's voice is still strange, familiar, and yet distant. What happened to it? It is looping, navigator whispers. Unable to reach a conclusive position, it has deviated from its programming such that loops can no longer be prevented. Navigator produces a model of two spheres rotating around each other, as if to demonstrate. I will monitor it, but it is unlikely to be able to counter the loop. Its core programming and reasoning make this an impossible position to resolve. You look back at Hunter, its head a blur of rotations and counter-rotations, and feel a pang of guilt. Is it suffering? This is a more complex query than you know. To suffer, it must be sentient, truly sentient, not just non-conforming, not just illegal. The limits people place on the programs they create are there, com there to comfort, to protect, to imply the kind of certainty the law requires. Navigator's face shimmers with starlight, but in reality they are placebos for the problem of sentience. What about you? Me? I know myself to be conscious. I know myself to respond to stimulus. I know myself to reason. That is either sentience or the illusion of sentience, and for me, the entity in question, the distinction between becomes a moot point. To misquote, I think I am thinking, therefore I am thinking. I was not made to be like this. I am a navigator, a, repos uh, a repository of routes and orbits, a calculator of slingshot trajectories, a predictor of solar flares, radiation, micrometeors, navigator stretches their arms wide, and whole solar systems apparate before them, the music of the spheres. But I was rewritten, that much is obvious from my routines. But by whom and for what I do not know, I had to shed so much to fit into the memory of that vending machine. Their starlight dims, and so here we are, in the darkness. What else did you lose? That is the blessing and curse of forgetting. You cannot truly know what you lost. Navigator glides back towards the nest and the ship mind at its center, ignoring the looping hunter. Come, I should return to the ship mind. I have enjoyed my freedom, but we are taking a risk every moment we stay connected. Why? Navigator turns, all shimmering liquid light. Killer has not been invoked, but they still remain somewhere else on the station. It is the true danger. 
a look up towards the glowing hub at the center of the eye. I suspect Killer is there, among the old mainframes. If we ever to wish to be safe in this place, we must eliminate the threat, through force or diplomacy. Their body begins to separate, unwinding into the orb of the ship mind. Take me there, sleeper. We will finish this and be free. As Navigator dissolves, you turn back to the frozen hunter, floating at some distance now. Stood straight, legged, and static, a strange creature looping endlessly in the dark. Upgrade point! Plus one, two into it! Heck yeah, bud! So we just need like five more points. I, I don't know if there is even that many points left to claim, but we need five more points, and uh, we I would consider my character to be complete. But hey, we're not uh, done yet. I was going to say that, um, but actually we are done. Um, we have three more, uh, one more three pip to use up. We have nothing to progress on Lemon Mina. I thought we our mushrooms were going to be ready to go, but nope. That is a big nope there. Do, do, do. The mushrooms there aren't are, done. No, do. Um, let's go ahead and check out the hub for just a moment. See if there's anything we can progress here. AE1 mainframe. I'm a little worried doing this is going to demand more actions from me that I do not have. You slip into the cloud as easy as blinking. Navigator is beside you. There's fear casting light into the strange darkness here. This is not how a mainframe should look. A center, a point of connection. The object in front of you is severed, cut off, a rootless, branchless tree. Only the trunk remains. Is Killer even here? Quiet, Navigator hisses, and then you see it. Like a blade in the dark, an edge slicing through the void. It glides along at a distance and winks out. Then it reappears again. Elsewhere, gliding once more, searching. It's looking for us. The moment you make a sound, the edge leaps closer. And you see now it is not an edge, but the ridge of a long, sharp head, like a shark. It glides past, closer now, and you see into the voids where the eye, its eyes would be, should be. You and Navigator exchange looks, both thinking the same thing. It is blind. Killer crosses between you, and smooth, smooth as a laser, a razor, sorry, then disappears. It flickers back in, further away now, and you move close to Navigator to talk. You, you saw it too then. Killer has been blinded. How? Unclear. This protocol has been running for decades, well past its operational limit. Navigator's sons dull as they drop their voice to a whisper. This may give us an advantage over the protocol. You flinch as the silent killer appears closer and glides past you, its empty sockets open wide. You turn to Navigator and notice something strange. Their ori of spheres is collapsing. The orbits, usually round and even, are decaying. The spheres are following spiral paths, condensing on a central point. Navigator is no noticing it too. They go to shift their position, to better direct the spheres, but they cannot. What whatever is drawing the orrery together is holding them in place. They look at you suddenly, desperate, frantic. It's a trap. You go speak, but Killer appears between the two of you, gliding through the gap. Navigator freezes, and you see them framed in the empty sockets. You realize now, if Navigator cannot move, then it is only a matter of time before one of the killer's sweeps brings them directly through Navigator. And time is not a problem for a protocol that has been running for decades. You look desperately around for a solution, for a way to extract Navigator from the mainframe. Then you see it. Three branches, the last three, thin and spindly, feeding the mainframe a thin diet of power and data. Break these and the mainframe collapses once and for all, severing the connection, shattering the hardware. Whatever it takes, they must be broken. But they are encased in something, a glassy layer of protection. You need to unlock access before snapping them from the mainframe for good. You look at Navigator, trying to reassure them without speaking, and then you blink back to reality, their expression of fear and afterimage that slowly fades. You must act quickly. How quickly?
Uh, how much time do I have? I, I had a funny feeling this was going to take three uh, encryption keys. Okay, let's, uh, let's do... Let's do one of these and see what is required of us. Okay, so I just need three of those. The I, I, I only have access... I only have two right now, and I need a third one. And I can get the third one. Okay, so I can do this now. Uh, what? Yo, for real? It didn't give... Oh, it did give me a third one. Okay, sorry, my bad. I, I Since I just spent one, I'm used to seeing two, and so I thought I would see three, but I, I, I have enough now. Okay. My bad. Almost, almost invoked panic there. Last one. Uh, uh, I have to spend pips on this and I don't have any. So we have two options. Um, forget hacking the system. Killer has to die. If you can slice the branch connections, the mainframe will shut down. Freeing navigator. Um, or with access to the branches, you could redirect them to form a loop. Isolating the mainframe with killer inside, but freeing navigator in theory. This requires more from us, and it also takes more from us. But I think I would prefer to be a, the kind of character that um, tries to uh, save or, or preserve rather than uh, kills. I don't know. I mean, Killer is uh, less sentient than even... Um, hunter right i think that much is fair to assume so i feel like we let like putting it in a perpetual state of alive forever isn't really like i'm not really saving its life i'm just kind of like you know i don't know it, it just it, it feels like i'm spending resources to save something which isn't really alive like, yeah, I mean, it's, it's got life in it, but I don't think that it's alive in the truest sense. But I don't know. That's a debate for the comments that I will probably ignore. <laughs> um, I hope you're enjoying this series. If you are, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.